I'm going to introduce a two-time world champion. He is ready to go. He's just taking care of business, and he's going to look to get to the final. This is a dog! And our next competitor is the number two seed, looking to upset our former world champion and make his own path to greatness. This is the Dangler! Our thumbs up, so we're gonna right. count these guys down. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one, Tetris! Tetris, 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 Tetris. Ooh, CJ start in really different placements, too. Yeah, both of them are still with the. Actually, now it's exactly the same. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works sometimes, so we're seeing both players. Oh, okay, finally it differentiated. Nope, back to the same. Uh, Simul Tetris. Not quite the same board, but almost the same board. There you go. This is <laughs> hilarious, actually. Man, we're going to get another Simul Tetris at this point. Yeah, just really clean foundational stacking. You don't see too much aggression. Of course, we're at a drought right Ooh. now, so, you know. Yeah, to be expected. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the game wants to create some drama here. 25 already. already. Our, there it is. And both players and actually both score that Tetris. <laughs> and both of them at exactly 50% Tetris rate. Look at that. They bur even burned the same amount of lines in that sequence, th in that drought. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Dog able to find Tetris there. Dingler, does Dingler he go for could this? go yeah. for a left well dirty. Well, actually, he set up for it again. again. Yeah, but hey, why not get another drought right at the beginning over wow, here? Wow, this it, sequence. Boom, Tetris for Dingler with that dirty left well. Stuck with it and was rewarded. Yeah, we've been talking about this. That seems to be the story of today. It's just these droughts that we keep running into. Really testing our players. Wow, look at this Dingler stack here. Ooh, he can actually, oh, I think he slid that in maybe a little too early. Not sure. Oh, nice. Whoa. Okay, now how to that resolve. That movement. Okay, not going to be able to resolve that one cleanly. It's going to have to create some holes and figure out a way to get through there. So that little 50-50 guess for Dengler right there. And uh, was hoping for the uh, S piece, but got the Z piece instead. Oh, oh wow, God. what an adjustment. How do you even see that? I, I don't know. <laughs> That is, that is insane. Yeah, that, that is called you. Those adjustments are impressive. That has called you have played a lot of games and you've thought about it. And again, that practice that he had, remember the practice yeah. that he had for the 100% Tetris rate definitely helped him uh, with some of those setups. Yeah, when you do adjustments like that, I mean, it effectively increases uh, what I would call your move set. And what's possible, yeah. mm -hmm. just kind of like a fighting game, you know, like James Chen is familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> and the more possibilities you have, then you, if you have a combination of pieces that might, you know, end up, uh, you know, with dependencies, you could avoid that actively. And Dengler is doing that moment to moment. Yeah, yeah. what makes it further impressive was how high it was. Because, you know, right. as you get higher, the speed kind of speeds up because it's going to hit your stack faster. So being able to recognize that while up around where it would be around the next box on their consoles, you know, that is also very impressive. But 289 to 272. 71% <laughs> 71 to 66%. Remember, this is just game number one. We're just getting started between these two. Let's see how this continues to play out here. Tetris for Dengler. And now Tetris ready. But actually, a double eyepiece dependency here for Dog. So we're going to just drop that eyepiece over there on the left side to make sure he has a clean enough field to play. And it works out. Boom, Tetris or Dog. We are neck and neck. Separated by a double worth in points, just about. Well, not anymore after a Tetris is scored. This is ridiculous. Well, here we go. Dog continuing forward over here. Still has about a 74% Tetris rate. Denglar with a 72% Tetris rate. Gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning over here. Because uh, he's oh, not nice getting that. Oh, that was nice, yeah, okay. 
I was about to say, he wasn't getting the J piece, but that little adjustment over there, thanks to the uh, I piece, was really nice. Whoa, what a setup over there from Dog. He uh, did a couple of adjustments that looked like it might have complicated his stack, but following the pieces just resulted in a triple, and he was clean and Tetris ready. Oh, so. yeah, there we go. Love filling out that two-by-two two hole with the L and the J piece back-to-back. Hmm, doesn't Dingler. look like yeah. that was the oh. intended placement. Okay. That was smart, but unfortunately the O piece is coming in and causing him some problems. Yeah, he was trying to avoid having to force himself into the I piece to fix that problem on the left side over there, but the pieces right now, the RNG, not doing well for Denglar here. So this is going to drop his Tetris rate a little bit. Yeah, kind of a festering situation where you're trying to fix nice. a mistake and you end up building on top of the hole that's formed and you're in an extended dig like this. It affects the efficiency and that's going to give Dog a 100,000 point lead. Uh, well, D uh, Dangler did get the Tetris. Uh, obviously, it was no danger of topping out or anything like that. But still, uh, being able to get a Tetris while burning down like that is definitely nice. That's going to be a triple, not a Tetris, yeah. and with only four lines to go to level 19. Just going to burn okay. all the way yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about yeah. to say, I Nigler thought he was wants gonna, to reset the board. thought he was going to go for a row two Tetris, uh, but instead decided to clean all the way. You can see how the, the, the pieces that he keeps getting keep accidentally giving him those LJ dependencies. Yeah, Boom, Tetris or Dog, increasing the lead. Momentarily, it was at 155. So it's 58% versus 80% right now. Hmm. Okay, now Dog with a little bit of burning. Would love a J piece. Well, a better time J piece, I should say. Oh, okay. nice adjustment. Well, is open a Tetris for Dog. We're seeing some insane amount of adjustments to this particular right. game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like that. Yeah, Dang. like that. <laughs> Those last second adjustments were wow. pristine from Dingler. Wow. Balls it up with Tetris, too. 588 to now 695. And those last second adjustments there aren't, like, helped by the rolling technique. Are they just doing that? Those, uh, those adjustments there. I'm, I'm going to probably give uh, Game Scout some nightmares, but these adjustments are so great. We're going to need an adjustments highlight reel for this year. <laughs> it is just so good. Ooh. Look at that. Like, just like that one. Oh, man. Oh, Howard but Bird, again. The board got jagged from it. Yeah, the, the, the jagged teeth, as I always call that, is uh, not, not necessarily a good setup. The jagged teeth and the staircases, it's bad. It's an odd parity of the, uh, of the, of the, the pieces that way. And generally, that's not good. Ooh, uh -oh. Another uh -oh. drop over here from Dingler. But, good. wow. Nice. Two burns. That's all it took. Yeah. Yep. Well, unfortunately, he is forced to cover that well again. Nice and perfect timing for Go that. Go Tetris or Dingler. Okay. What the <laughs> <laughs> now he's just showing off. That's so, a yeah, you're seeing, you know, what looks like a misdrop, but then the player is able to adjust to the mistake so fast yep. that it doesn't even look like a mistake in the end. It's just a delay burn. That's all it is. Yeah. Yep. I meant to do that. Intentional. All, you know, as planned. As planned. Calculated. Oh, man. But, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, uh, with all the cleaning and stuff that Dengler has had to do, coming out of that whole entire situation with a 63% Tetris rate is actually pretty good. He just needs that long bar here. But column two, unfortunately, is still causing him a little problem over here. Yeah, he had to just take a triple there, so... You know, with uh, Ooh, he might get set up here. Oh yeah, there, oh, oh, almost. That, that SPS was not what he was looking for. Oh uh, yeah, so he's not going to get the dirty that, here. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dog has just been playing clean, maintaining yeah. this one hundred thousand point lead. <laughs> Dog's clean. We're yeah, closing continue. in on level twenty nine. Yeah, continuing just the burn over here uh, is Dangler. Has not really had an opportunity to get anything going back again. He needs yeah. an eyepiece now. That triple is going to work. There's oh, the max nice out for Dog. Oh, okay. A little bit of indecision there for Dingler, but it does work out. Tetris score. Two more remain before at level 29. Wow. And you, and you also got to imagine, too, for Dangler, you know, hearing Dog already at max out while he's, you know, well, he was still at about 800,000 yeah, at that point. 186,000 point lead for Dog here. And nice. 29 but Tetris. 
We'll Dog. see how that plays out. Oh, uh -oh. Dangler on the left needs a log bar over there. For yeah, shouldn't be a problem for strong rolling, but he's not actually going to wait for that. He's not going to risk that at this point. Tetris for Dog as he transitions with 1.145. Dog with a Tetris. One. All right, so here we're at that level 29 play. Let's see. Dingler set up for a Tetris, but had to burn down, not taking the yeah. risk. Oh, Dog opens it up, and boom, Tetris for Dog. Dingler. Drought again. Oh, oh no, that was a triple. triple, yeah. Couldn't get the Tetris there. Okay, okay, start, dog building up to look a little for bit column familiar. four. Yeah, look at He's going to take a column four. Boom, Tetris or dog. Dingler getting up high. Nice triple, much needed. Yeah. With that triple, that does give Dingler the max. Look at this uh, point discrepancy, though. Dog ahead Ooh. by 269,000 points. That is a lot of points right there to make up. Okay, Dingler trying to get back down to the Another bottom. Tetris is scored by dogs now. That's a 300,000 point lead, but Dingler is open okay. for a Tetris. There we go. Waiting for it. Can't oh. find it. Once yeah. again, another untimely drought. What? Oh, oh my gosh, going, he's going, he's going aggressive, going but he knocks down the Tetris. Tetris. Dingler. Yeah, I had to use two long bars to cash that Tetris in, but pulls it off. Oh, again, these pieces. And a oh, drought, man. poorly timed. Oh, great timing on the eyepiece. Dog getting pieces over to the left after hanging a piece in column three. Nicely done. Oh, wow. oh, that was nice. Now he's set up again, but are we getting more? Oh, oh Dangler isn't able anything. to pull that together. These droughts, takes the first round. These droughts today, I mean, my goodness. Yeah, and, and in particular <laughs> on 29, the droughts were always like really badly timed. Right. And that's why, even though what we saw with Tristop and Alex T when they just went just going crazy on the Tetrises, there is still an inherent risk to setting up Tetrises on 29. Of course, of course. Yeah, but they're forcing each other, they're pushing each other yeah. to do things like that. Right. Start game two. Ready, three, three two, two, one, Tetris! Tetris, 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 Tetris. I think it's also just so ironic that, uh, we, you know, we've been calling Dingler the dark uh, horse in this, but he's the second seed, too. Yeah, I mean, that, that does happen. You have a new player blaze onto the scene with a high seed. Oh, a little miss drop there from Dengler. I like that. Oh, interesting. Decided not to go for the Tetris first. But yeah, looking at the seeds, I mean, Scooty was seed, you know, our first seed, and, you know, he's only in the second year. Dog, a veteran at this point, also with a high seed. So it can happen. There we are. We are tied at the moment. Nice adjustment by Dengler there. Was looking for an LRJ to follow. Yeah. To LJ try not to turn that into a long bar dependency. A nice flat burn there to open it back up. Just not really able to find what he's looking for. Well, I mean, looking for an eyepiece right now because we're running into a drought. Yeah. Persistent droughts all day long. Look at this, 26 just early on. Okay, boom, Tetris or Dangler. Finally able to cash that in. And boom, Tetris or Dog. That same long bar, cashing it in for Tetris. Yeah, it's nice to put a, oh, a little bit of an overflip. That can be burned out with just a J flat here. There you go. There it is. 128,000. Oh, there's the Vitz. Nice. Tetris will be scored for both players. 151 to 147. Dingler head by the kind of lines that he burned. Neck and neck early on. Oh, a little bit of a burn situation there, but nothing major. No, Tetris is going to be scored over there for Dog. And now it seems like players are pretty calm. After, despite that, what was that, 27 piece drought earlier? Yeah. It seems like. The bars have been coming at very well times, and now it's just a matter of players trying to optimize their board to avoid the chance of burning as they both knock down a Tetris off of that same bar. Oh, dog, just a yeah, little bit more Yeah, they're both hitting their stride here. Of course, for those of trying you, to even out nice the board. Oh, nice line, line spin. spin. Of course, for those of you that are wondering, a Vitz is a vertical eye tuck setup. It's a move that can be done very aggressive, but it's also very nice to see when it's executed. Okay, Dangler finally back open again. And Tetris ready. And boom, Tetris for Dangler. Dog Reducing. having to do a small amount of burning. Yeah, Dog. 
slowing down a little bit. Has a slight lead now, but Dengler can fire back here, even it up. Okay, another drought. 23, 25, okay, it's finally over. Dengler opening it back up. It's gonna be in time. Waiting on this eyepiece, might have to go for a burn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, finally, right, finally, finally. Oh, man. These we droughts have been so brutal all weekend long. Yeah. Dog in the lead, 76,000 point lead at 364,000 points at 83 lines. Yeah, but definitely, uh, you know, as long as Dengler stays close over here, that's going to be really important. Last game, he fell behind by like 200,000 points, so he had to be super aggressive at the end. And it's a misshifting by Dog there. It's going to have to... See, is he going to go aggressive here? No, no he's just going to burn it out. He did have, you know, a pretty decent advantage going, uh, for Dingler in this game. But Dingler's just going to cut that down to size. Now we're only separated yeah. by a Tetris. Yeah, they're both pretty efficient other than the burns that they've had to do. So it's evened up at this point. We are neck and neck. Uh, 61 versus 65% rate. It's another one of those 50-50 situations for Dengler, but actually had the right guess over there. And ooh, Dog shaking his head. He was kind of forced to either take the Tetris nice. now or fill in the long bar dependency first. Yeah, dependency's forming, but the long bars did come. But he needs another J now. Oh, actually, he, he needs another bar, I, yeah. but it came just in time. So there we go. He's set up for a Tetris now with that Z piece, and boom, Tetris for Dog. Oh, nice Z-flat adjustment over there for Dengler. And the pieces are going to fall to help fill in that center chasm. Oh, just in time now. This time for Dangler. Boom, Tetris for Dangler. And boom, Tetris for Dog as well. Every once in a while, that RNG works out for you just right and definitely feels good. Boom, Tetris for Dangler. But he is not getting that J piece. Yeah, Dangler's I been trying to fight forming dependencies like this whole round. Yeah, I feel like the J piece has been particularly stingy, and he is just building these towers right now. He's stuck in the uh, another drought. He's stuck in the uh, SZ towers basically, but he's managed to break out of that. Gonna take that and transition with the Tetris. Yeah, five twenty-five transition for Dingler, five sixty-five transition for Dog. So a forty thousand point lead, about a tet almost two Tetrises separating them. This is game two. Dog has was able to take game one. All right, going to use that uh, O piece right there. Ooh, drop that uh, Z piece in an oh, odd place. Oh. Kind of set of a mini Vitz, but you know what? He couldn't take advantage of it because he had another I piece dependency, so he didn't want to wait for that. That would have been a three I piece uh, dependency, and you definitely don't want to do that. Great down stacking effort over here from Dog. An adjustment opens up the well, and Tetris will be scored. 631 to now 580. Out of Tetris is going to bring that up to 606. Yeah, yeah well, clear is clear now. Yeah, Dangler with also a, an amazing little build there, digging out of that situation. Both of these players just, uh, you know, such intelligent stacking. Yeah, this is a great master class in stacking here. Oh, perfect pieces for Dangler to get past that little uh, inconvenience. But now he needs to fill up column nine. Gonna go for a couple of burns. There it is, yep. So now the column nine oh, is nice ready to go. Oh, that was so sick. Yeah, that last move. Wow. Again, he did it again. <laughs> yeah, that's the sort of adjustment that sets Dengler apart. Uh, the Tetris is going to be scored over there by Doc. Still holding on to now. This is basically a one Tetris lead. Yeah. So slowly by slowly, Dengler has catched, caught up. But, you know, a uh, nice Tetris there from Dog. And Dog set up for another one here. Nice adjustment to accommodate that. Oh, and a Tetris will be scored. Yep. 788 for Dog, oh, 732. Back, for back to back eyepiece is so great. And, Dangler. and Dangler might go, oh no, he doesn't go for the, interesting, he does not go for the, the left. Long bar dependent, but he gets it. Oh yeah, okay. Nicely done. And now Tetris ready as both players again. 61% versus 65%. So again, Dangler catching right up there. And Dog playing super clean right now. Yeah, One of the best games of the day here. Both that, of them. That's kind of what we've seen all, from majority of the competitors on 19, is that they're able to kind of keep up with each other. Man, okay. Okay, small drought. Uh, again, but I mean, just so many of them. 
Like, I can't, like, from all the years that we've commented this, I can't remember a year where we've seen this many droughts. Yeah, it's, it's oh, constant. Oh, the touch is going to be scored over there for Dingler, so still yeah. down by a Tetris. Yeah, yeah Dingler has, for the most part, been able to catch up. Dog having to take a triple there, so we could see this even out. Yeah, again, I mean, the, the key for this matchup right now, uh, I feel like, is just to stay as close to Dog as possible. Clearly, Dog, obviously, is really, really good and, and, and is going to be able to keep scoring during level 29, but that's the key. All right, there it is. Max out for Dog. And he, oh, Jingler, oh, 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 and that oh, left oh. side. Oh, wait, that is... Yeah, really left side being bad going into 29 is okay, not favorable. Can help. Okay, here nice we go. Tugs. Nice And IP is going to help him out. Okay. Now he has to hit the five tap. Nice going for the flat L burns. Wow. We oh. saw how key that was earlier for Alex T okay, to stay alive. Wow. Look at that five tap was hit. Dog now just ballooning up that lead. Now already up to 173,000. Yeah, Dog maintaining aggression here in post 29 play. Dingler now. Dingler set up. He is. Link for lower. There it is. Boom. Wow. Tetris for Dingler. Once and the max out. Great survival on his part, but it is far from over. We're at level 32 for Dog. Level oh, Dog 31. needs. Left side. Yeah, the, this, this whole thing right now, like I said, as long as Dangler can stay close, you might have to count on... Ooh, Dog with the five tap. Dog, surviving. Dog topping out here, but that's just not happening, Dog. Dog, yeah, drilling back down to the bottom. Oh, Dangler with the hang. Dangler. Yeah. The left side is so dangerous. Another O piece would be ideal. Oh, Got finds it. it. <laughs> now, where's that J, actually? Yeah, I still, still can needs use that J. Okay. Sorry to get okay. dependent. I need needs something over to the right. Dog is on the verge of oh! the So is Dingler, but Dog gets one final Tetris to solidify game number two in his Simul favor. top out, but yeah, Dog being ahead and Dingler not able to, to save the left side there. Yeah. Dog now up by two. Dangler on the ropes. Yep, there's We're the get this up. thing started. Three, two, one, Tetris! Tetris, Tetris. Tetris. Ooh, S Z start. That's fun. Uh, the favorite start of everyone. <laughs> yeah. Games testing our players here. <laughs> Fortunate at level 18. The pieces drop fast enough that you don't have to wait too long to get that tuck. Simul stacking almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit different approach. Dog went, went for more vertical space where Dingler went more horizontal. Dog becoming double bar dependent, though. It's going to have to uh, do something about that. It's going to be a triple at best. But can't, no. There's still a gap right there in column 10, so has to take a few birds. Yeah, that's going to give Dengler a chance to get an early lead here. But he's got to do his best to maintain that here. I mean, it clearly, he has not been able to count on Dog topping out anywhere after, po uh, after level 29. Yeah, Dog's been playing rock solid, so it's going to take more than just getting by. Surviving is not going to be the, the key here. The, the, the Tetris rate, the efficiency, and that's why, you know, obviously uh, we've added the super, super duper kill screen uh, at level 39 because it brings it back to how CTWC has always been about this Tetris Ooh, efficiency. Nice the last bits second bits by Dog, yeah. And boom Tetris for Dog, and boom Tetris for Dangler. Dangler, of course, with the advantage because remember, Dog went for something that caused two early long bar dependencies. And right now, both players just trying to get Tetris ready. A little bit of a jagged sack for Dingler. Yeah. T-piece would help. Definitely a very awkward build right now. Filling out the left side before he worries about the right side right now. Should be able to tuck that in there. Beautifully done. Now. Yeah, Dog chooses to skim off the top there. Minimal burns. Gets a Tetris. Hmm. There you go, right there. Moving that piece at the last second, but can't yeah. find anything flat to throw in there. Yeah, just gonna have to settle for that T piece burn now. And now the O piece actually would have been great for that gap right there. Oh, and then there it is. And dog is clean. In the middle of a drought, both players swing on that long bar to cash in that Tetris. Dingler gets it first and then dog. Yeah, 276 for Dingler, 224 for Dog. His Dog now double JP's dependent. But Dangler with a 93% Tetris rate right now. 
Yeah, Dangler really optimizing here. Maybe knows the stakes here. Must win this round to stay in the match and the tournament. And this is starting to look strangely familiar. Yeah. You just got to be careful about some of those miss drops uh, that he's had in a couple of the past games over here. And if he can do that and maintain this lead, it'll have to be, uh, the pressure might be finally put on dog. And sometimes, sometimes it's pressure that puts out the best, you know, brings out the best in us. And Dangler really opting for precision. Good yeah. play here. Unfortunately for Dangler, he hasn't been able to try to get that. Actually, that was kind of a nice timing on that burn. Perfect timing for him to, uh, to, get, to take advantage of that Tetris. But now look at this, he has to keep setting up some awkward Yeah, uh, some dependencies gats. forming. Of course, Lots the wrong of direction. Oh, interesting. very interesting flip. Let's see, the yeah. pieces just aren't falling in it's, his favor. It's always the mirror image of what, he, what he's looking for. Yeah, and he has to put more weight on the holes there. Okay, this could work. He sets up a delayed burn there, oh, but opts to use the long bar to uh -oh. open it up. I think that O piece was a little bit of a missed drop as well. But as we see this, we see that uh, Dangler's Tetris rate is getting uh, obliterated over here. It's all the way down to 76%, whereas uh, Dogs has remained at 77%. So that's we are why, tied. Yeah. That's we're, why we were tied exactly tied. Tied. Yeah. at zero. And with that, Dog takes the lead. Yep. And finally here, Dangler gets out of that situation, ready to start Tetrising again. And boom, Tetris for Dangler. We're closing in on level 19 transition. We're looking at a potential 600K transition for Dog. Dangler just had to do so many burns. All right. And yeah, Dangler had an early lead at the beginning of the round and encountered just that entire burning sequence. Um, but as the match progressed, you know, it's been evened out and we're neck and neck. Neck and neck. So this is still going to be an exciting match going into the level 19 speed. Will both players maintain their aggression and push each other to the 29 showdown? Now the touches is scored over there for Dingler. Two more possible here before level 19. Um, both of them with very, very, very clean boards right now. Both of them playing very efficiently. And of course, the question always comes down to once it gets to level 29. All right, a 573 transition for Dingler, very respectable. But a 619 is what Dog has right now. Can grab one more and give us a 640. Yeah, Dog with so much momentum right now, having played so many near-perfect games, nearly flawless, and continuing nice. with this one. All right, it's got that L piece dependency. Oh, that was really nice there, but he needs another I piece, and it comes just in time. Look at that. Gets the Tetris as well. Like I said, every once in a while, you, the RNG is actually super helpful. Got to thank him for that. Yeah, dog, dog. right now. Oh, boy. Finding oh, old boy. Tangler. Hold on, that is very deadly. Okay, does get one I piece, needs another. Yeah. Might have to offer an alternative solution. Goes for a skim. Holding Ooh. up with the IPs. Nice split triple. Nice triple. Yeah. Okay, gets the right piece to fit that. Okay. Does go for the IP piece over there, which means he needs yep. the L got piece. Yeah, triple off the top. Which he got. All right. So back to a neutral board here. Still not completely out of the he Gets a Tetris. That's going to help a lot. Now, Another Tetris for Dangler. Go. Nice. Dangler in the lead now with points. Few lines ahead, so almost a true lead, but not quite. There's a Tetris for Dog into the lead once again, 768 to now 757. Both players are clean, Tetris ready. Yeah, Dangler taking, using that long bar to fill the gap instead of taking the Tetris, but that worked out. And there it is, boom, Tetris for Dangler. Dangler's up. Both players set up, both players Tetrising. You can already hear the crowd starting to get riled up as Dingler <laughs> fighting for his tournament life here. Reminder, Dog has already won two games. This is a best of five. Dingler has to win this game to extend the set. Has a little bit of an awkward build right there, does Dingler. Needs a TP. set up. Yeah, he's not going to wait for it. It's too risky. 
Mm. Oh, but the pieces are coming on because now he's got that long bar dependency. Okay. Oh, filled. Nice. That's going to be a double. Oh, yeah. Can go for row three here. A bit aggressive, but. I mean, at this oh, point he does. in time, I don't know. And if he has boom, Tetris or Dangler, dirty. All right. And he could set up potentially. Yep, he's got a dirty Tetris here. In That's column. center well. That's column seven. Yeah. Okay. And Will he give it? Where is it? It's like, all right, there, there, it, there is. it is. Tetris for both players. Dog maxes out with and, that Tetris as well. And he's going to stick with it. You can see Dangler is going to stick with it. Gets and, another Tetris. And that's the perfect will transfer back over to the right-hand side. Yeah. One Tetris, less than a Tetris separates them. Dog finds a long bar for a Tetris, and so does Dingler. And with that, that's Max nice. out is scored. Oh, nice adjustment. But oh. now a T-piece is needed. Finds yeah. the T-piece, but needs to bring the stack down. We are six lines away from level 29. Dingler has to yeah, get this, this is, board under control. That was great. That was great. Okay. One now, burn line, two burn lines. Interesting, interesting. Oh, he is wait. set up for a Tetris. He needs this IV. This is not a time for a drought. There's a triple. Uh -oh. All right. Uh -oh. Another misdrop. That left side is dangerous. What can Dingler do? Can he survive? Oh, no, he no, has he to And that's He's it, Dingler. For a drought. Is swept and by Dog. Dog with the broom. And again. Two sweeps in a row. Again, it's just one of these situations here where the eyepiece dependency, the, 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 the droughts have been causing so many problems. And, you know, I mean, I think one of the reasons why they have been causing so many problems is because really these players have gotten so good that it's one of the only things that can actually shake these players out nowadays. Yeah, and, and, and Dengler had to go aggro. He was behind points and needed to get the board under control and needed to get the Tetris to get the board down. And with it ending at a 40-piece drought, it's just so unfortunate. <laughs> you can see like, it. You, you can definitely see how the droughts are impactful because these players are pushing each other to be as efficient as possible. And the only way you do that is by scoring a higher number of Tetrises. Yeah. But if you don't have the long bars and you're purposely trying to be as efficient as possible, those droughts start to hurt a lot. Thanks a lot again, uh, Sharky, Chris, and James. I'm here with the Dangler. Superb performance today, man. Uh, again, number two seed, and again, your face dog. This time in the top four. What is it about dog, man, that just it's so difficult? Um, I don't know. I feel like for this matchup, my strength was sort of pre-kill screen, and I knew that that was dog's strength too, so I wouldn't quite have an advantage there. So it's sort of intimidating to know that I would most likely be behind in kill screen. Yeah, and certainly Dog looks like he's been on a tear right now, so he's moving on. You have a top eight last year, now the top four. Are you feeling like you're at the point now that you can surpass that and make the run to the finals in the future? I think so. I think that if I, you know, <laughs> put in the work and next year maybe I'll be in the finals. Now, we know that you're a big proponent of the Tetris Fish. You kind of studied that along. What are some of the tools that you can kind of talk about that have helped your game uh, get to that level and maybe for others that are trying to learn to be like that? Um, yeah, Tetris Fish is a pretty cool resource that Ansel has put a lot of time and work into. So I kind of want to shout that out. That's like the main thing. Absolutely. Noah, you know, you are a rising star. We've seen you at these great heights. The future is very bright for you, young man. Will we see you at the next CTWC? We will. Absolutely. That is the Dangler, ladies and gentlemen. Final four member for 2024. Dangler, any shout outs to your fans? Um, shout outs? Um, I want to shout out my mom and my dad for supporting me. I think my dad is in the crowd. My mom's at home for always supporting me and like watching the streams and just loving <laughs> what I do. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dangler. Congratulations. Hello everyone, I'm your underwater host Sharky, and I hope you enjoyed the match. Before we get into the final lore drop and talk about the jersey, I just want to thank a few people that helped with these videos in some way. First, I want to give a huge thank you to a game scout. Scout not as only provided me with access to stats regarding CTWC and CTM, but has also created the style of thumbnails that you see now. Without his help, and by extension Marfram's help, the recent lore drops would be lacking in some aspects of CTWC and CTM stats, alongside with the thumbnails wouldn't be looking as clean as they currently do. Second, I want to give another big thank you to Dog. 
Dog, while I was in the midst of editing, reached out to me and asked if I could use any help with any thumbnails. And so a couple of thumbnails that you see on the videos have actually been made by Dog and not by yours truly. So I want to thank Dog for that as well. And lastly, I want to thank each and every one of you that watched these lore drops at the end of the video. Doing these custom every single time does extend how long it takes for me to edit these videos and put them together, and even if it's just a handful of people that watch them, I still really appreciate you guys. Now, I did this last year, so I'm going to do this this year. If you made it to the end, make sure to put in the comments, hashtag final lore drop. Alright, so we have our finalist Alex T versus Dog. This matchup has a decent amount of history. Alex T and Dog have played each other 12 times before this, in which Dog has only won 4 of those games. Or matches, rather. Their most recent encounter was in CTM Masters for May in Round 2, where Dog lost in a decider. But don't let their match record deceive you though, because this match is a lot deeper than what it appears on the surface. Now when it comes to achievements, each is pretty stacked. Yes, Alex T is the first person to reach 10 million, reach level 235, and get 16.7 million points in a game. But do you know who's right behind him? Dog, who has also gotten to level 235 and has gotten 14.8 million points. And when we talk about strictly competitive, they're close on win rates too, with Alex T having a win rate of 78% and Dog having a win rate of 73%, with just under twice as many games played or matches played as Alex T. Now, let's take a look at stats, and we're going to dive into past CTWC stats, followed by CTM Master stats for this year, and current tournament stats. Because I really want to paint a picture of just how close this match really is. Now, despite rather early exits from Alex T in the prior two CTWCs, both his and Dog's stats are quite insane. Both of them have over a 90% transition rate, but when it comes to reaching level 29, Dog did so with a percentage of 65%, while Alex T's percentage was just at 41%. Score-wise, they're very close, with Alex T having a fair median score of 1,071,000, falling short of Dog's FMS of 1,118,000. But that's based on prior CTWC performance. So what about things leading up to CTWC 2024? Well, let's have a look at CTM stats then. When it comes to reaching the level 19 transition, these two are just wild. Like a 97% transition rate for Dog and a 99% transition rate for Alex T is actually crazy. And the rate of reaching 29 is the exact same at 93%. Now, if you wanted to be a doubter, you can be like, oh, well, those don't mean much. Well, let me tell you something. This is over the course of 80 games for Dog and 97 games for Alex T, which keep that in mind for all the other stats that we're going to talk about. Other CTM stat lines are close too, with the median level 19 transition score, Dog having 581,000, and Alex T with a median of 576,000. What about median 29 transition scores though? Well, Alex T has 1.1 million and Dog has 1,098,000, separated by 9,000 points to be exact. But once again, where Alex T shines in these kind of stat lines is 29 play. Alex T square median 29 score is 331,000, while Dog sits at 229,000. But if that's still not enough to convince you about how close this match truly is, then let's look at stats from this tournament alone. Alex T has maintained a 1.2 average looking at his top 16 matches onwards, including the early top out game from Sodium. But if you don't include that game, then his average shoots up to an astounding 1.285 million across 11 games. And don't even get me started on the set between him and Tristop. When pushed to his limits in the tournament so far, his 29 prowess was showcased. I mean, in game 1, Alex T got almost 550,000 post 29, and the same happened in the decider. His lowest natural score across the 11 games that I mentioned is 1,023,000. But if you think I'm just gassing up Alex T, then you're wrongfully mistaken. Because Dog is equally as insane. Across the 9 games in top 16 that went to 29, he's managed an average of 1.255 million points. However, he still has had weaker post-29 play than Alex T thus far. And some of that can be chalked up to the fact that Dog wasn't pushed as hard as Alex T was in certain matches, with the exception of, you know, that Miles match where he chased down a 300,000 point deficit. Now, Alex T said at the beginning of the tournament that he is going to win. It's been three CTWCs for him so far, and he's finally made it to the finals. For Dog, it's his third time in this situation. He's been close two years in a row, losing to Eric in the unrestricted levels format, and then being swept by a fractal that was just a monster during last year's CGWC. 
Dog wants to be the second person ever to win three CTWCs behind Jonas. The only person that's standing in his way is a player that is absolutely on fire, riding on the high of an insane decider between him and Tristop. The only player that can stop Dog right now is Alex T. Now, before we go into the true end, I just want to remind everyone about the CTWC eSport jerseys. Both the 2024 version and the Celebration versions are up for sale. The shirt that you see me wear in most of these lore drops is the 2024 jersey, and the one that I'm wearing today is the Celebration jersey, both of which I designed. Now, unlike last year's YouTube release, these will be completely personalized. Personalized. Do you want a name or a number on the back, or maybe both? Don't worry, I got you. The 2024 jersey will cost $55 plus shipping, and the Celebration jersey will cost $65 plus shipping. Or you can get both for $100 and free shipping. For more information, be sure to check out the description. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord at itsharky or on Twitter at itsharky1. The deadline to order is September 8th. Now, if you enjoyed these matches or this match, then make sure to leave a like. Comment down your favorite moment. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. This is the final lore drop of CTWC, so tune in with us for the next match, which is the finals, as we will crown the 2024 world champ of the Classic Tetris World Championship. I'm your favorite underwater host, Sharky, and I'll see you in the next match, or rather the final match, of CTWC 2024.